And now we have a GMA beauty investigation. Just how clean is your makeup? Most of us don't realize how easy it is to contaminate the things we put on our face every day or how the germs that get into your favorite face powder or eyeliner can transmit some seriously ugly infections. Andrew Canning is here. With this special report. What do you this have there? This is for you. I brought you a gift. Oh my goodness. Need I say more? This is from some concealer that we uh, we tested. So really? anyway, Robin, anyone who wears makeup needs to watch this story. We recruited some brave souls from around the office and tested their makeup bags, including my own, and it wasn't pretty. We found bacteria that can cause everything from infections to illness, and wait till you see who had the worst. <laughs> Just like beauty, the bacteria that can contaminate makeup is only skin deep. All it takes are a few cells from an unwashed hand or a blistered lip, and a mascara or lip gloss can become a haven for contagious bacteria. Take those makeup counter testers. Hundreds of people use them every day, but as you can see, not all of them use the disposable applicators provided. People don't wash their hands, and then they'll go ahead and they're like, oh, that's a nice lip gloss shade. Dirty fingers dipped in makeup can spread everything from herpes to pink eye. You can find streptococcus, you can find micrococcus, and if you're very unlucky, E. coli, which is obviously from fecal matter. And that same bacteria might be hiding right in your own makeup stash, especially in older makeup. Any bacterial agents in them start to break down after about six months. My high school eyeshadow. Former makeup artist Shama Meager still uses products that are months, years, yes, even decades old. If I put it on my finger or my hand and it looks okay, I figure why can't I use it? We wanted to find out just how unhealthy is it to use makeup past its prime. Just about five years old, barely used, love it. So we collected a few samples to send to a lab. Just Do you see. even know how old all this no, stuff is? No, I have or? no idea. We even dared a few people from GMA to yeah. unzip their makeup bags. We're gonna bag them. We're gonna send them to the lab to How see what kind of creepy critters we find oh, crawling on these. Honestly, this is a bacterial <laughs> infection waiting to happen. Or pink eye in a bottle. That's oh. what I like to call it. Let me get my mascara. Oh, that's always a good one. How long have you had that for? A while. Like, how long? Uh, maybe a year. Oh, yeah. this has been uh, in there since I can't even remember when. Now it's my turn. I'm embarrassed to say, but face powder over a year old, months old mascara, worn down lipstick, and a few more dated items. Last but not least, the concealer, which I'm always sticking my finger in and touching my face. I'm, you know, a little fearful of what might be in this one. In fact, the results were shocking. 11 out of the 25 samples we tested came back positive for all kinds of bacteria, like staphylococcus, commonly found on the skin, but yeah. potentially harmful. This is the bacterium that can cause pink eye, uh, also uh, skin lesions and rashes. And then there was streptococcus, usually found in saliva or mucus. And streptococcus is a bacterium that can cause strep throat. Other bacteria we found came from household dust and dirty surfaces. But these are the worst of them all. They're called gram-negative bacteria. Organisms that originate in our intestinal system, but also can be found in decayed food. And consider the amount of bacteria we found in just one tiny swab of each product. They're actually a hundred times more concentrated than what you visually can see on the plate. If all that doesn't make you sick, it could wreak havoc on your skin. When you're using contaminated makeup, you can get mild breakouts all the way to boils and even abscesses on your face. Now it's time for me to deliver the bad news. This possibly could have come from in the intestinal tract. I think I'm going to throw out the eye pencil. Maybe I'll stop wearing eyeliner altogether. <laughs> this is disgusting. I will not be wearing this eyeshadow anymore. This oh is what God. you've been putting on your Stop. eyes. Can't, I can't look at it. That's so gross. Ew! Ew! <laughs> what is that? That's so gross. This can cause things like pink eye, strep throat. This is what you've been putting on your face. Oh my god, that's just scary. That is really deeply gross. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right, so come much clean. I, I, I promi promised I'd reveal the right. worst. Why did it have to be me? <laughs> Seriously? Oh, you're the worst? Yes. What of course, what they find? Well, it was the concealer, just as I had predicted. Oh. It's putting your finger in the concealer all day and yeah. touching up.
So it had it had just about everything. Those gram negatives, Ooh. all that disgusting Ooh. stuff. This is this is serious. I know we're making light of it in, in a sense because you think of it, but it can really cause some problems. So how long, on average, can you keep? makeup. Well, the one thing that you want to change the most often mm -hmm. is your mascara. That's every three months. Cream blush, concealer, that can be 12 to 18 months, which okay. is pretty long. Lip gloss a little longer. Uh, and then the longest of all is actually two years, which isn't too bad. That's your, your blush, your lipstick, your eyeshadows, eyeliner. Uh, those ones aren't too bad. But mascara three months every three months, months yeah you can if you poke your eye or something yeah. you know sometimes when you're putting on your mascara mm -hmm. you can actually cause it can cause blindness oh. so you need to be really careful a with that lot one. of us are guilty of keeping it a lot longer oh, for sure. than three months so how do you keep it how do you can you keep it clean? Well, you can sharpen your eyeliners and your eye, uh, your lip, lip pencils, take off the bacteria off the top. You can wash your brushes in baby shampoo. That mm -hmm. helps. And also, we found this great product, Beauty So Clean, that oh. ABC uh, makeup artists actually use. And it's like a hand sanitizer for your makeup. You just spray your, your uh, powders, and you can wipe your lipsticks down with, uh, with the wipes. And you can carry it in your purse. There's little bottles. So. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, you're going to be having a baby soon, so here's the baby shampoo. <laughs> Thank you. I'll get for you. Great. All right. Thanks and we it. have some tips on how to keep your makeup clean, including how your freezer, freezer can help kill germs. And that's all on our fabulous website at abcnews.com. Much more information there.